Okay, so this is the rationale for the for the fix. Basically, I've done it with the pre pre assumption of we need wallet. We cannot run without wallet, which is true technically and wisely. We want the users to store credentials credentials only in the wallet, and then that if we pop up the wallet only on the last step, if the user denies it and he doesn't understand the wallet or something like that, he's going to lose all the work that he has done on the wizard, which can be frustrated. I mean, it, when that happens to me in a website, for example, that you cannot complete the final step, then you are forced to redo the whole wizard, that pisses me off, and we don't want our users to be pissed off. So, uh, yeah, implementation. We click on, we want to create a, a wizard, we ask, well, we are, we are asked for wallet access. If we click on deny, then we are probably asked to try again because we really need the wallet. We click on it, we are asked, and yeah, basically we cannot, we, we don't allow to go forward if we don't have wallet access. If the user does click on allow once, the wizard will move forward and then we are not asked anything when we are writing the email. So what happens? I have to restart the application. Yeah, uh, that's something. I have to restart the application because the wallet access is skipped. It was skipped before, but well, now it's better done, I can say. So, uh, yeah, we click on it. We are asked again if we want to to grant access. This is because, well, I click it in the low ones. If I click for the in the f at the first time in allow ones, yeah, it is going to move forward, and you can have your formulary. So, last possible use case: if the user click on a wizard and this time he de clicks on allow always. Well, what will happen is that, of course, this will work, and on the application restarts we won't be bothered again with the wallet so yeah basically uh, to summarize we ask it first because it's really needed we ask it first because we don't want the user to get frustrated to lose work I mean if for some reason he don't want to grant access to us to the wallet then well he won't lose any time filling formularies or going through the website and then we ha we are prepared for asking it again in case he denies. I'm also working on the possibility that if for whatever chance he clicked on the deny always, we can react on that. But for because of security reasons, applications are not really allowed to know that. I mean, if you deny forever something, you don't want the application developer to be able to ask the user, "Hey, you deny me." access forever do you want to revert your decision you know that can be tricky so i'm looking into it i hope to get it sorted out but we'll see i hope you like it and yeah this is going to be packaged like packaged like in four or five hours depending on the launch fat mood bye bye